Okay, so let's uh, you know begin from the beginning uh, using like what tools I'm using and everything. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be using IntelliJ Idea. Uh, you could get the community version of it, which is free, and uh, that's good enough for building this project. Uh, as a language, I'll be using Kotlin here. Uh, although, like, if you want to do it in Java, then uh, like looking at my syntax and writing your own code in Java, that's also something that's uh, perfectly fine. Although, like, you know, uh, everybody who is doing Java, I think the future uh, lies in Kotlin. A lot of uh, projects uh, that was used to be in Java, they are now moving to Kotlin. In fact, there was a recent interview by uh, James Gosling, the founder of Java. He also said that he has been starting to use Kotlin a bit because there are so many projects which have Java and Kotlin both in them. So. Uh, picking up Kotlin as a language for anybody who is doing Java is anyway a good thing also. So anyway, not going into that. So I'm going to be creating a new project and uh, this will be a CLI app, but it will have a lot of classes. So we're going to be creating a gradual project. So that's something that you should learn uh, is that, you know, we're going to be making so it's Java 11. That's fine. We'll be creating a gradual project with uh, Kotlin JVM. That's uh, my, yeah. Um, okay, I, I think that that looks fine. Um, we're gonna be uh, making this uh, project. Let's say we pick up a folder or something. So we'll, uh, do that. Okay, uh, this usually is like when you're creating a new Java or Kotlin project, you generally give like a group ID and artifact ID. So let's say com dot coding blocks. I'll just give anything version is 1.0 snapshot. That's fine. Uh, so I'll go and click finish and let's see what project gets built for us and then start writing our code and all of that stuff. Okay. So. I'll just uh, quickly switch a few settings. Uh, so I'll be using my own Gradle file from here. And uh, like. So, yep, I think. Uh, just select the Kotlin Java version and all of that stuff. Um, so, which version of Kotlin to use? So, that's also something that I've set up. And uh, yep, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so let's see. Um, So what we'll need is uh, we will uh, go and uh, create our uh, main uh, Kotlin. So that's where we can uh, put our source code. So uh, so I'll create a new package. We'll call it com dot coding blocks dot car picker. Okay. And I'll create my uh, main uh, file which runs the program, and uh, we'll just call it uh, main dot kt. Okay, uh, so generally you can just write uh, main like this and uh, you know, you can write hello world and uh, you can just run main kt like this and that's, that's enough to run your program. Although like if you want to make it look a lot like uh, a Java kind of uh, format, so what you can do is you can have a class main. And then you can have a companion object to write static stuff here. Then you can write uh, JVM static uh, main function, and then you can write uh, sorry, twice, and print length. 
this is more like Java kind of way where you need to have a class outside and you have a static function for main and that's where you write your uh, sorry uh, there we go so yeah here we go so same stuff hello world is getting uh, printed anyway okay uh, so that's there uh, now what we'll do is, uh, let's say, uh, create a package here uh, for, uh, you know, uh, called vehicle, create a package called uh, parts. Um, so let's, let's have some, you know, uh, let's have a vehicle class here. Okay. So now uh, this uh, vehicle class uh, is there. So we'll need some parts like uh, the, the top level parts that we uh, discussed. So we'll need a wheelbase. Um, so we'll start off with that. Um, right. And uh, we need a uh, engine. In fact, we can make the parts uh, folder inside vehicle. Okay, so vehicle has got vehicle and then vehicle parts and then uh, vehicle parts has got wheelbase, uh, engine and seats. Um, and we have got uh, so let's say we have got wheelbase and engine and then we need like uh, chassis, uh, we need um, the uh, wheels, okay, uh, we need um, the uh, transmission which we go into engine somewhere and uh, we'll need like seats and upholstery right so we'll need uh, um, file a class uh, seat okay and uh, we'll need like so let's just keep it till here okay so what we'll need is like the composability here is like the start from a you know top down kind of an approach our vehicle uh, would need an engine uh, entity, right? It will need a Now what would happens with Kotlin is that if you create a val engine, then you have to assign it some value, okay? Uh, we have to Like uh, do uh, something like equal to uh, new engine kind of thing. Uh, so this we have to do. Um, let's just keep writing code and see where we get stuck and what design patterns help us in that, right? With the car needs a wheelbase and an engine, right? So, so we have uh, sorry. Uh, okay. So and uh, we'll need seats here. Okay, uh, rather than let's say we can put the seats, uh, you know, inside the chassis. So the wheelbase needs a chassis. Okay, um, the wheelbase uh, would need chassis and the wheelbase would need uh, wheels as well. So, So let's the wheels be uh, of the format of list of wheels because we need like you know uh, four wheels or six wheels kind of a thing. So uh, you'll create like a list of four wheels. Okay. Uh, so um,
okay so we have got like four wheels uh, that's like uh, the wheels of my uh, car right and uh, then uh, we'd need like uh, say what else do we need linear transmission okay uh, so uh, the transmission would go into engine so the engine uh, would need like uh, transmission okay kind of like this okay so such so like how my dependency graph has been created so i have got like a vehicle um just a second so got a vehicle vehicle contains a wheelbase and uh, an engine okay engine contains a transmission wheelbase contains uh, chassis and the wheelbase contains uh, like wheels so i think all the parts are covered seats are not covered so the chassis would need uh, seats so well uh, seats uh, let's say list of uh, seat and equal to so there are four seats inside it okay Uh, yeah, so I think most of my classes are uh, kind of covered and I will create a vehicle and like this But say I want to find out what's the cost of the vehicle, right? So uh, to do that uh, what we'll need is I will need this cost parameter in every uh, Item here so I can do one thing is I will create an interface and I'll see where interfaces are useful is uh, we create an interface and uh, we call it uh, Part okay and uh, this part uh, interface has got a uh, val uh, price which is of type let's say uh, you know uh, integer okay so every part has a price okay so what we want to do is we will just make all of these implement part okay so just this implements part as soon as i do that i will have to uh, write the uh, value of price here somewhere implement the members so now i'll have to write price here so let's say the price of uh, the chassis is um, how much let's say two lakhs okay that's like the price of a chassis uh, engine i have to implement a part here as well so when i do that and uh, implement members uh, and i do that so here the price of an engine so say the engine's uh, price is you know uh, one lakh fifty thousand. Okay, uh, this is the chassis price. So engine price. Okay, uh, seats also need to be like a part. Okay, and uh, then right so uh, like like the seats uh, what we'll do is uh, the uh, the price of uh, the seat here we will basically uh, yeah let's say 15,000 per seat uh, that's like the price the transmission also would have a uh, price we'll have to implement the part implement part interface everywhere and we'll have to give uh, prices to it so that the transmission comes at 90000 uh, right and then like the wheels so so wheels come at say uh, 12000 each and uh, then there are the you know wheel base and uh, so i think here also we'll implement uh, the you know part uh, thing here and when we do that so wheel base becomes uh, of price say that's that's 1.5 lakh as well 1 lakh 75000 1 lakh 25000 that's the price of the wheelbase okay so everything has got like uh, their prices and all written now if i talk about the vehicle and if the vehicle has like uh, the price of the vehicle so what i will do is i will create a a function for getting the price of the vehicle 
and uh, to do that uh, what i will need to do is i will have to write down a lot of things i'll have to do is uh, you know so uh, let's say uh, So cost plus equal to and uh, we'll do is we'll take the cost of the wheelbase. Okay, uh, then we'll sorry to change it to var. Yeah. Then we'll do costs uh, plus equal to wheelbase dot uh, chassis dot uh, price. Then we'll do costs uh, plus equal to wheelbase dot uh, so wheelbase. I think everything has been covered engine dot uh, transmission dot uh, price uh, costs plus equal to engine dot price okay uh, costs uh, plus equal to wheelbase dot it has got uh, the wheels okay so i have to do wheels uh, dot uh, so we'll have to do it something like this dot uh, sum by uh, it dot price okay so we'll have to take the sum of all the prices of the wheels so wheel base dot wheels dot sum by dot price what it does is it iterates through all the wheels and adds their uh, prices similarly we'll have to do uh, costs uh, plus uh, equal to wheel base dot chassis dot uh, seats dot sum by uh, sorry the price of that okay and uh, finally we'll do is uh, like yeah uh, return costs okay so that's like uh, the cost of my vehicle would be okay so uh, it's just going ahead and uh, like if you try to print it uh, like a main uh, let's say uh, we want to create a vehicle so val v equal to uh, vehicle we created one and then print ln my car uh, my car's price is uh, and i do v dot price okay okay so let's let's run this and see what kind of price we get so uh, the cost of my car is you know uh, 2 lakh this right all right it seems like a little big so chassis is 2 lakhs and engine is oh i think i added an extra zero 1 lakh 50000 yeah okay so let's run it again Okay, so like the cost of the price of my car is six lakhs seventy three thousand. That's something uh, that uh, you know uh, we have gotten. But uh, you know the thing is, uh, none of this is customizable. It's like constant stuff. Chassis is constant, engine is constant, all of that stuff is constant. So uh, how do we go ahead and make uh, it possible to build uh, our car as uh, different uh, kinds of uh, you know what do we say? Um, um yeah uh, different types of suv and uh, family car and all of that stuff we want to build so let's see in the next video how we can you know uh, actually make it composable and buildable because here right now we have just hard coded everything we have got a lot of parts and we just have uh, give them some fixed names and all of that stuff so how do we make it more composable how do we make a proper car builder how do we move towards that so let's uh, see that in the uh, next video okay